Well, all right, we had some rain on the radar and folks just to our north are still seeing a lot. Speaking of Atlanta, you'll see that in a second. 74 uh, is the current number. Let's do this. Let's not drop hardly any from right now. So temperature wise, we're kind of stuck. Sunset 841. You're probably like, why are you telling me that it's dark? Well, because that's changed a little bit. We've been sitting at around 844 for the past few weeks or so at the longest time of year. And now we're going to start kind of going back the other way, losing nearly a minute a day. <laughs> that's all right until we get into the five something five o'clock sunset. Oh, dread that part. But anyway, here we go. Flood warning up here as you get into just out of reach. This is going to be south side of Atlanta, Peachtree City, rolling east down I-20. This may clip Jasper and Putnam County. As a matter of fact, Jasper's seen a few sprinkles now. As far as what we have seen, uh, most of our rain was earlier in the afternoon and evening, and we've seen just leftover sprinkles making their way on off toward the east as we move the map on down southeastern counties. Same kind of thing. Everything just kind of floating toward the east, and again, not much of it left over. So here's a big picture as we zoom out. You can see all of that rain here. Again, too much because a couple of flood warnings are in play. And as we go into future view, we'll see that most of this stays up here as we go through the next couple of hours, but we may see a little bit develop as we go into two, three in the morning. You won't miss this. Uh, you will miss this actually, but there's nothing really to miss. This is around five, six, seven o'clock in the morning. A few sprinkles still I-20 northward. Majority of the rain here's around nine, 10 o'clock in the morning, maybe a little something. If we don't see anything then, tomorrow afternoon provides another chance here. This is around three, four, five in the afternoon. Just some scattered stuff out there. Not everybody seeing rain at the same time, but you know how it goes. They start to fire up and then the outflow boundaries come out of these thunderstorms and then create other storms on the periphery of those. So this is around seven, eight o'clock tomorrow night, nine, 10 o'clock. So not a slam dunk, 100% chance of rain, but a pretty good shot. And as we get into Wednesday, just some scattered stuff kind of hanging around again. Same thing as we head in toward Thursday, but I think Thursday and beyond we start to bring the chances down some, not zero. As you can see here, still some scattered stuff Thursday afternoon, but once we get into Friday, getting a little bit lighter here, just a typical summertime thing. Same thing as we go into Saturday and Sunday. So if you're making outdoor plans, just that uh, normal thing where you may have to duck and dodge a couple of showers and storms. 70s for the overnight low tomorrow afternoon. Back in the 80s, this probably looks weird. There's a little frontal boundary that'll be hanging out for the next day or so. So some cooler stuff as you get into North Georgia, not for us. And also that's where the humidity may take a little bit of a dive up here, a little bit drier air for a little bit. But notice we stay in the soup, all right, which is exactly where we're supposed to be for this time of year. There's the seven day. Yeah, it may show 80s on the thermometer, but it'll feel like 90s with the humidity as thick as it is. Rain chances may come down a touch as we head into the weekend, whereas the temperature may go up back into the low 90s. All right, Marvin. How